Hello beautifuls, welcome to your reading. So in today's reading, we will be discovering what makes you attractive, what makes you hot. Okay, so it's gonna be very fun reading. If you guys have never been to a pick a card, what you are going to do is you're gonna pick one of these crystals. Okay, so whatever one you like, whatever one you are drawn to, just let your intuition guide you to the correct one and if you are being pulled to two of them I would listen to both of them if you have time and you feel called to but I've done that many times before so this one is group number one group number two group number three and group number four and I will go ahead and put the timestamps down below and you guys can go there and I will see you in your reading hello beautifuls welcome to your reading Let's go ahead and take a deep breath in and release. Okay, if you want to go ahead and relax your shoulders, relax your arms and your neck and unclench your jaw and just be open for this reading. So before we start, I got a very fascinating energy read about you. There was an energy here of like dangerous or seductive or sexy and you are safe from harm but your level of attraction attractiveness is dangerous and it just feels like group number one it feels like you could possibly attract like strong partners that really want to possess you or own you or there's this this strong element of like force like I got like a message of a sword so, so that's just a little preview. So I thought that was very interesting that you, your beauty is that, that beautiful, that is almost dangerous. So here we have 37 cycles. So the aura and the radiance I got from that of why it makes you so hot, why it makes you so attractive is that I feel like you are beautiful with makeup, without makeup. You're beautiful in the morning, you're beautiful in the night. If you've, you know, when you're going through your cycle and you feel bloated or whatever, you are still beautiful, you're still sexy. You're someone that is almost like a chameleon. I feel like you're able to go into many different looks, okay? And even if you feel like you've had the same look, there's something about your aura, there's something about your radiance that changes over time and then the energy of 37 which you know we add together and that's one in numerology and it's like this brand new force this brand new energy and it's also very youthful so i feel like something that makes you so attractive is the fact that you look so young so let's go ahead and get some astrological influence Okay, so we have Gemini, we have Neptune, we have the ninth house, so we have Sagittarius, we have the ninth house, and we have the second house. Okay, so group number one, what I'm sensing with Gemini coming out, Geminis are amazing communicators and a way that a Gemini energy can attract someone is they're very enchanting in their words. Uh, for example, uh, Venus and Gemini will be almost like a fairy. It will come into this sign and it will enchant others with their words and be quite flirtatious and make things very interesting and bring and a fire and a spark to everybody around them. So what I'm really seeing is what makes you so attractive is you make people so curious about you. There's something very flirtatious about you. And there's something that's almost a little bit teasing. Okay, it's very interesting. And then we have Neptune. Neptune energy rules Hollywood, actually. And it's mysterious and it's almost like different dimensions of light in this very interesting way. And the reason why I say that is because Neptune rules the 12th house and that
that is what is hidden from us. That's our secret enemies. That is our feet that can rule dancing. There's so many interesting things in the 12th house. And so I really sense that something about your physical beauty that is so attractive is that it looks almost like um, doll-like, celebrity-like. There's something about you that's almost like you are very pure, very sweet, and people want to take and kind of grab your cheeks. Okay, and then we have Sagittarius. Sagittarius is probably, I don't know, like maybe like the most positive sign we could say. Or, you know, it's just known to be joyful, alive, happy, and just having like the time of their life, honestly. And they're also very funny. Sagittarius energy is so much fun to be around. And so what I'm really sensing is that your beauty is big, your beauty is alive, and to be around someone that has this kind of beauty is rejuvenating, okay? So when you're walking into a room, you are, um, I don't know, it's almost just like um, sparks are flying, like sparkles in your aura, and there's, there's a lot of sparkles here. So you definitely have a sparkly type of aura. We have the ninth house. The ninth house is higher learning and it's traveling and it's other lands. So it really feels like you could attract people from all different types of places. It feels like wherever you travel to, wherever you go, you get a lot of attention. And for some of you, you could have different kind of skin color or different hair, different eyes. There's something that's very unique about your vibe, something that's really unique about your aura. We have the second house. The second house is Taurus. It's how we feel about our house, or ourselves. And it's, you know, represents also like money and abundance. So I feel like a lot of like older men or older women, whatever you're attracted to, or what, um, like whether you're attracted to men or women, it just feels like older people could be attracted to you or wanting to like pay for you. So let's get some more energy on what makes you so attractive. And there is this energy here of you having an hourglass type of body. So let's get some more. Okay, so we have the king, and that could definitely be representing what we were just talking about with, um, it's almost like this king wants to come into this gate, but a barrier keeps you from your goal. So what makes you so attractive is that you have standards, you have high standards, and you're not out here for everybody. And so since you are trapped in this gate that you put around yourself, it just makes others, whoa, there is that devilish energy. There's that intense, dangerous energy I was sensing before the reading that you just attract a lot of attention and a lot of different people to you. So we have the maiden, a new relationship blossoms. There's a lot of energy of purple. So we could have some Leos that are in this reading as well. So with the king, something that makes you so attractive is something that makes you hot is there's this level of confidence that is radiating from your aura and it feels very strong very feels very confident and it feels like wherever you're going into the world that you own that shit and it just feels like you are the king or the queen of the city or your town and so with the gate a barrier keeps you from your goal it feels hard to reach you and since you know sometimes if something's free, not everybody wants it, right? Like, it's like, oh, it's free. But when you work for it, when you have to pay for it, when it's hard to get, people want it that much more. And so I could tell by your vibe that people are really wanting you on that level. And it's creating so much of an intensity. We have this devil energy where it's thirsty. It's craving you. It's wanting you. It's wanting to devour your energy and I feel like you are very angelic you know I felt very precious vibes when I was feeling like people almost want to come and like touch your cheeks or touch your face and so with this revelry you know and indulgence if people are also just wanting to break in so badly into that gate also this could be representing you in a way and what it shows me is that 
the devil card, like in the original tarot deck, is something that is so hypnotic. And I feel like a lot of readers or a lot of people like think it's all bad. But in my opinion, I think a little bit of the devil energy could keep life interesting. I feel like life could get a little boring without it personally. And so it feels like what makes you so attractive is you have an addicting presence. Like why does it feel addicting to check your Instagram? It feels addicting to see what you're doing. It feels addicting to keep up with everything. There's like this super hot radiance that comes off of your aura and like the devil too it's like I want you I own you and I'll do anything to get you so I do feel like you have some people that just feel very strongly about you and like wanting to to take to get into your gate so we have the maiden a new relationship blossom so maybe some of you guys are single or you just feel like you're in a relationship there's this energy of people that are so attracted to you that they want to be in a relationship with you and if you look at the image of her she's very pretty and she's daydreaming so there could be almost a daydreaming type of energy to you a dreaminess to your eyes some of you guys could have freckles or moles or something different about your skin and she's wearing like very sexy like lip liner or some kind of um you know, she's wearing a good amount of makeup. Like, it looks like she put a lot of time and effort into herself. And so, you could put a lot of time and effort into yourself. But in the beginning of the reading, we talked about that you go through different cycles. And you look good in whatever cycle you are in. So, let's go ahead and get some more energy here. We have the Emperor. <laughs> we have the Magician. This is crazy. Two major arcana cards coming out. We have the Ace of Swords. Whoa. And we have the Chariot. Okay, so what it feels like to me is it feels like you have the most powerful force. And for some of you guys, you could have a little bit of masculine energy or a little bit of like competitive energy, a vibe about you that you want to be number one or you're kind of willing to do whatever it takes to be number one. Or you just simply are number one. If you think about it, you are the first one in this reading. So there's a powerful force that is coming off of you. The Emperor is ruled by Aries. And Aries is ruled by Mars. Or Ma Mars rules Aries. And so that is, um, you know, if you want to look at someone's chart. You want to see, okay, what turns them on type of thing. One of the things we would look at is Mars. And so I could tell that you really turn people on. So you have this natural sex appeal that radiates from you. And it feels like so many men want to dominate this reading. You know, we only have one woman here. And so it really feels like um, a lot of men could want to be with you or you're just attracting a, a crazy amount of um, masculine energy that's coming towards you. The magician knows what he's doing and he has confidence in himself to create this new reality that he wants to achieve. So something that makes you so attractive is like if you look at these cards, they're very bright and they, they're all upright. So it feels like you have a brightness to your aura and your energy and it feels like your aura very like glows very strong. If you see this, it feels like we could see his aura that's surrounding him. So the aura that you possess is very bright, it's very happy, and I feel like it has like sparkles in it as well. And then we have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is clear communi communication, we're thinking right, We have there's no bullshit, you know, and everything is on point. And so what it's really telling me is that there's like this sharpness to your features and you know connecting that back with gemini it really feels like you guys are very enchanting in the way you communicate and i feel like sometimes you could tease or lure in people with your words or just completely enchant people with your words so the chariot we could have some cancers watching this as well like and when i say this it could be like sun moon or rising venus 10th house and you know we could even have pulled neptune and you don't have any planets in neptune but you have three planets in, in the 12th house. So it's always really important, you know, to really look at your chart. 
I'm sure I don't need to tell you guys that. You probably are like me and love astrology. But um, with the chariot, it feels like a leader. And I feel like a lot of people want that card. And it actually doesn't come out a lot in my readings. So it's very interesting that it came out. So something that is so attractive is that you, you're a leader, guys. And you have this leading force of kind of going first and then everybody else wanting to follow you, their eyes wanting to follow you, okay? Their aura wanting to follow you. We have fit body. So some of you guys could like to work out or it just feels like it or just looks like you work out. So we have prettiest in the group and you are the king or the queen of your city or your town. So let's go ahead and get some more. We have light colored eyes. Okay, I know not everyone that picked this pile will have light colored eyes. And if that doesn't connect, it could be there's like a lightness to your eyes, a twinkle to your eyes. Oh, this is interesting. You look so pretty in light colors. There's something about your aura being very light, being very happy, very being very mystical, and having different dimensions of light in your aura and i feel like it's a different uh, a colorful aura we have a libra so we could have sun moon or um venus rising the you know 10th house um and also sometimes i feel like the north node you know so can sometimes really play into these signs that we pick up on we have eyebrows on point so something that makes you so attractive is these eyebrows are very sexy they're on point you could have just naturally nice eyebrows so we have funny happy personality and i really feel like we were tapping into that and i did put sagittarius right in the middle and sagittarius are funny and they're alive and they're happy and it feels so good to be around sagittarius and sagittarius's are always traveling and so i just feel like wherever you go you're getting a lot of looks if you ever travel so we have hypnotic eyes. So your eyes are very dreamy. And what can happen sometimes when someone has hypnotic eyes is that you some you know you could actually get lost in them. And so I feel like people really get lost in your eyes and it's kind of like going in different dimensions and they're looking at the different lights or different looking at the different ways your eyes are and it's not just about your eye color it's actually about the shape it's about your eyelashes and it's about the way you communicate with your eyes okay and then we have capricorn so we could have you could have capricorn somewhere in your chart or you know there is this sharpness there's strictness to capricorn capricorn is the the boss and capricorn makes things happen in their life and they are not scared Okay, so you could have that really going on as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one more card to wrap it up on what makes you so attractive. Group number one. Oh my gosh, conclusion. That's kind of really crazy that they came out. It's really interesting, you guys, because when I'm doing your reading, I didn't want to stop reading you, and I didn't want the reading to stop, and I went way over how long I typically do, and it just feels like, guys, if you need to hear some love, if you need to hear some of these things about yourself, like, I'm always here for you, you know, I'll be opening personal readings soon if that's something you like, or if not, I'm just here for you on YouTube, and so with conclusion, there's books here. There's energy of learning. And when we add two and one together, that's three, which is Gemini. And that's also ruled by the Empress. But there's this um, interesting energy about you being a learner of life and you kind of having a teasing energy and interesting energy. And people are wanting to go into this gate because they want to open the book of you and read more about you, look more into your vibe and kind of see what's going on and it feels like there's an addiction to always keep up with you okay you guys i hope that connected with you i hope it resonated if it did 
please give me a big thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I would love to have you here next time. Bye, beautifuls. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome to your reading. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath in and release. Okay, if you want to go ahead and relax your shoulders, relax your arms, unclench your jaw, and just be open for this reading. So before we start group number two, I kind of peeked in on your energy and what I noticed is that you have some people that are very jealous of you, group number two. It feels like there was this vibe of, um, like you guys being a queen and the vibe of having, not like you have to watch your back, but it just felt like you want to make sure people are there for you. Like you have some real ones, some close ones, some true friends. Okay. And it just felt like you have something really going on right now for yourself or you're on the brink of something incredible. And it really felt, it just, it was a strong, powerful feeling of, that people were very jealous. But this isn't about them, but I felt like they were trying to come in, but it's like, this is a pure reading. But guys, you keep shining, you keep doing you, and that is what matters. So, group number two, what makes you so attractive? I know you're so attractive because I could feel the jealousy of other people. But um, we have number two, master number 22, letting go. So, something I'm really sensing is it's very hard to let go. And not only in the element of you being attractive in your physical features, but you have a special vibe about you and your personality. You have a special light that you're bringing here from higher dimensions and it really feels like you um I want to say that maybe you've been through hard things or you've had to conquer hard things and that could also make people jealous as well because I feel like you've came out of depths of hell or you've came out of dark times and you've emerged and you've let go and you've transformed into this butterfly and this amazing potential you have w was shocking. It was almost like I'm feeling like a tower moment for other people to see you develop into this beautiful flower, into this beautiful butterfly. Okay, maybe some of you guys really connect with butterflies or you've been seeing butterflies. And that is why, or dragonflies as well. And that's why you are, tr um, you know, chose this pile. So group number two, I also felt some energy of Scorpios or Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, 10th house. If that does not connect with you, you could just kind of have a sexy, mysterious nature, or you could be a very good communicator, kind of enchanting with your words. But let's go ahead and actually now dive into the astrological energy of what makes you so attractive. Okay, so we have Aries, we have Venus. Oh, whoa, this is crazy. We have Cancer. We have the ninth house of Sagittarius and we have the ninth house of Sagittarius. So guys, you already picked number 22, you already picked the master number. And now we are getting master number nine, which is the old soul. And so what is going on with this Aries energy? So something about Aries is um, Aries is exalted in the sun. And not only is it exalted in the sun, but it is dignified in Mars. That is its natural home. Um, it rules Scorpio as well, but it does feel a little bit more comfortable from what I've learned in Aries. And looking at someone's Mars in their chart is what turns them on. What's their drive like? And so it really feels like you have a drive to make things happen in your life. I feel like you are a powerful soul. Tell me why we have 22 and 99. That just doesn't happen. 
And so it feels like this type of beauty doesn't always happen, group number two. And so also we have Aries right next to Venus and those are opposite energies. So you could have, um, maybe for some of you, you have like, um, bigger eyes and like a smaller mouth or lips or bigger lips and smaller eyes, or there's something about your physical appearance that is kind of different or unique. And whatever you have about your physical appearance is something that makes you that much more beautiful. I'm getting you're an amazing communicator. There's something about this voice. There's something about the way you talk. And there's something also about your body language. We have cancer. Cancer rules the mother. And cancer rules the breasts. And cancers are intuitive. And cancers are very helpful, actually. And I feel like if you need something, a cancer will be there for you. And there's something so sweet and so precious about cancer eyes. So your eyes are something that are very attractive and something that people feel very comfortable around. There's a sensual nature to you. Your body language and the way you move feels very nice. Um, having Phoenician energy come out, it just, it tells me it feels good to be around you. It feels like, um, comforting and comfortable. And then we have the ninth house twice. And so the ninth house is higher knowledge and it's where we're traveling, it's where we're going. It's very happy house and so what i really sense is that you have a very happy energy it's very contagious to be around you and it's almost like the vibe where you have like butterflies wanting to come around you and you have um i don't know it's just like everybody kind of wants to be around you and having the master number 99 and 22 it feels like you're you're coming into this life to lead the way for others Okay, so we have your secrets are safe. So I did feel a little bit of Scorpio energy earlier. And Scorpios are quite, quite secretive. We have beware who you trust. We already felt the energy of people being jealous towards you. So I'm not surprised that that came out. And then we have the queen, and we did feel that as well. Okay, so I feel like we are very on track with your energy and your vibe that is coming through. Okay, so your secrets are safe. Something that makes you so attractive is I feel like you are someone that's very loyal and you can keep deep secrets. And there's this energy too of to be around you. I feel like if anyone ever dated you or wanted to be around you, it's like they wanted to tell other people or they wanted to let everybody know that they're they're dating you and like around you. And I'm also seeing this green here. Green indicates um, the heart chakra, which is Leo, and green also indicates um, jealousy. So I can just really connect that back with a lot of people are truly jealous of you. They're jealous of this queen-like nature you possess. And with your secrets are safe, there's a secretive, sexy energy to you. Maybe you like to wear your hair down a lot and it feels like you're a little bit hidden. And I feel like people want to lift up your hair and they really want to see your face and they want to actually see your physical face and your face shape and how pretty it is. And then we have the wolf, beware who you trust. It feels like you could just have... Some people that are jealous that are possibly like close to you or you know them around town or these people look at your Instagram or something like that. Uh, you're fine. Like I don't think there's not, there's no danger here guys. There's no bad things or anything like that. But it just does feel like you do have a lot of jealousy. But for me, my advice for you, keep shining bright. Shine even brighter. Okay? And just know that you are protected. You are this master soul. We have the spider being meticulous and patient. It feels like Tauruses. Are there some Tauruses here? And so, um, with this, I kind of feel like people could almost be scared of you or intimidated by you. 
because um, spiders are scary, right? And when we have a spider next to a queen, it can tell us there's intimidation here in your beauty, in your radiance, okay? So let's go ahead and get some more energy. So group number two. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Five of Cups. Ooh, and we have the Seven of Swords. So definitely we were already feeling a little bit of, you know, beware, there's some jealousy here. But this isn't about that. This is about you you know and how beautiful you are and what makes you attractive so queen of swords hey guys we have the empress on the bottom so that's really cool so queen of swords she's precise she's smart she cuts through the bs and she is a queen we have two queens here and queens are very popular so i feel like you are very popular and very well known it's also telling me you have very sharp features whenever i get Swords energy as physical appearance. It feels like there's a sharpness to your jawline or there's this prettiness and also you have very, very pretty hands and pretty fingers, okay? And some of you guys might like to um, get your nails done. The Seven of Cups is all about fantasy. We have some people that are fantasizing about you, group number two. We have some people that are a little bit... Uh, addicted or captivated or a little bit almost delusional by wanting to keep tabs on you and look at you um the seven of cups is fantasy it's um oh i like that card i like that card a lot actually and i feel like people really fantasize you in many different ways and they fantasize what it would be like to be with you or you know simply even i wonder i want to like put her hair up or I want to see more of her there's this interesting energy of wanting to know more about you and wanting to know more about your secrets and people don't know these things so I feel like they create these scenarios and they create all these little things in their head we have the five of cups it feels like you guys could have came from sadness and you emerged out of that and you've really found your power and I also feel like we could almost be tapping a little bit into maybe someone that wanted to be with you maybe they were not being real they were lying a little bit or you just had this energy of someone wanting to hold you and be close to you but maybe you knew they weren't the one for you and maybe this is old maybe this happened a long time ago um but with the seven of swords the seven of swords is sneaky they're flirty they're teasy they're they're lying or they're up to something and so it feels like you have this very sexy teasing energy about you that I feel like you can really enchant people with your words the way you talk the way you move and it really captivates people and it makes them more curious about you okay so you have so much curiosity that is all over this reading of people wanting to know more about you and what you're up to so let's find out a little bit more about you Guys, we have unblocked me, okay? There is someone here that is trying to come through. Um, but it's not about them. But it also does feel like with that showing up as attraction, like attraction, what makes you attractive is it feels like there's a barrier around you. It feels like people are blocked from you. And it feels like people are waiting patiently to kind of talk to you or be around you, be in your presence. There's this big energy of like letting things go. So um, let's go ahead and get another one. So we have I love your nails. So we were tapping into that already. Some of you guys could like to get your nails done. We have, let me see here. I'm going to shuffle them a little bit. Lips are lush. So your lips are really lush, they're very sexy, and you may like to wear like lip liner, chapstick, and just make sure they look nice and soft. We have uses feminine power skillfully to sell things and to come out on top. So 
maybe are using this interesting energy of Seven of Swords. And I don't even feel like you're trying to. I don't feel like you're trying to use your feminine energy or your spiritual energy. I just feel like it has something, it is something natural to you. And the way you communicate is something that also enchants people because the Seven of Swords will use his communication. We have Alluring in Black. There's something super sexy about you guys in dark colors, okay? So let's go ahead and get some more energy. We have Marilyn Monroe energy. And she was a queen. She was a celebrity. And she was an icon. And she's talked about to this day. And a lot of people will dress up for her for Halloween. And so it just feels like you could have like some copycats or something like that. Marilyn Monroe, we could describe her as ethereal. And we could describe her as unattainable and maybe everybody always trying to to date her or lots of different men were lined up and they were patient to finally see if they could date her and wanting to tame her and it's felt like nobody really could and so there's this profound energy of wanting to tame you okay and so let's go ahead and get one more we have i love you in the color black so there's something that is super sexy about you wearing dark colors. Maybe you like to wear black a lot. And when you do, you kind of feel like a baddie and you kind of turn into that. There's something about your hair, guys. Your hair is very pretty. And it feels like your hair is something that you are known for. So let's go ahead and get one more card to wrap it up. Group number two. We have High Priestess of Spirit. So High Priestess energy is unique to each person and not everybody will know what the High Priestess, sorry, is thinking or what her intuition is, you know, what's going on with it. And so it really feels like a lot of people want to know specifically what is going on in their head, group number two, like what is going on with you. You have a lot of people trying to keep tabs on you and it feels like you have a connection with spirit and it feels like you have an energy of like um, something to do with your words, you being a good communicator, singing, having a nice voice, writing, something about your power is related to the element of air and so if you see this, she has lots of different people surrounding her. So we already felt that in the beginning of the reading. They have many different admirers. You have many different people that are jealous. And you just have a lot of people that are surrounding you. Okay? So you guys have a beautiful energy. You are magnetic. You are sexy. You are powerful. You are a master soul. And I love doing this reading for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it too. And if you did, I hope you give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I would love so much to see you here next time. Bye. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome to your reading. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. And release. Okay, if you want to go ahead and relax your shoulders, relax your arms, unclench your jaw and just be open for this reading so group number three i'm getting very interesting energy off of you so i kind of uh, peeked in on your vibe and i got an energy of angels fairies and butterflies so there was this big element here of flying energy okay it felt like you have this potential to fly a lot higher than other people. It also felt like there was this dreamy energy that was like taking me to the clouds and it was making me feel very relaxed and it was also very sensual to be in your aura and your radiance and I also felt like something that's so attractive about you is that your shoulders are very sexy and there's something very sensual about your physical body and your actual body language so we have the energy of 23 listening and it says darkness does not always equate to evil light does not always bring good so it really feels like too there's this interesting vibe of you having a touch of darkness and a touch of lightness 
and it creates a super powerful, sexy, confident person. And if you look at this image, she really knows her own knowledge within herself and she doesn't feel like she has to go out and shout and scream to the world of this is what I know. She has this own unique vibe and sexual radiance and very sensual radiance that is something unique to herself that she doesn't have to tell everybody else. So, and there's something also about you smelling good. I keep getting a lot of energy of the senses, very Venetian, Libra, Taurus type of energy that is radiating. I actually felt, honestly, I felt like all a lot of different zodiac signs will watch this. But let's go ahead and actually dive into the astrological signs. Okay, so we have the first house, we have the seventh house, we have Venus, and we have Gemini, and we have Pisces. Okay, so to start it off with the first house, the first house is your physical body, it is your rising sign, and that is really what we're kind of more known for, right? When we're going to school or we're going to work, people are really feeling your your vibe of your rising sign because that's kind of what I feel like is um, attaching to your aura. And so there is this twinkling sexiness that radiates from your physical body. There is this sensualness. There is this powerful force. There's also a leader that happens and so this is going to be different for everybody because everyone will have a different rising sign but you'll want to just look at your rising sign or I'm sure you know it and that is something that makes you so damn attractive group number three and then we have the seventh house the seventh house is love beauty relationships marriage it's very aesthetically pleasing I notice that a lot of people that like to decorate or they're estheticians or microbladers or makeup artists or they like to do something creative, um, they have a lot of planets in the seventh house. And so it feels like you have this very pretty Venetian energy that is radiating off of you. And they say sometimes that the seventh house can also indicate um, like fame as well. So it kind of feels like you are famous around your city or your town and also very artistic so some of you guys might like to do artsy type things like dancing singing drawing doing little tarot spreads or you know things like that where you can kind of create there's something very creative that comes from you guys and then we have venus so venus is known for physical beauty um, when you're looking in the astrological chart, a lot of times we're looking at Venus. So I feel like too, whatever your Venus sign in, is in is something that makes you so attractive. And Venus is symmetrical. Venus is balanced and Venus sees both sides. So it really feels like you have a symmetrical look. You have a symmetrical face or body shape. It's very attractive. And then we have Gemini. So Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Love you guys so much, truly. Um, I connect with you deeply. And uh Geminis are teasing, they're sexy, they're interesting, they're curious, and sometimes they can gossip or like play around. And so it feels like you could just be a little bit of a tease in your energy, like very sexy, very witty, very funny and random. Like sometimes maybe you like to say random things that Venus, or I'm sorry, um, t uh, Gemini, sorry, I'm like looking at all this uh, astrology. Gemini, um, rolls the fingers, the hands, and like the arms, so maybe you like to get your fingernails done, or you just have naturally pretty fingernails. It feels like you guys are a heartbreaker, group number three. There's something about you guys breaking hearts. And then we have Pisces. So Pisces is where we get lost sometimes and Pisces can be daydreaming. Pisces actually Neptune rules Hollywood and so you could have a vibe about you that is celebrity like or your actual look and physical appearance looks 
very like dreamy, mystical, hard to reach, otherworldly. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some more energy here, group number three. So we have the green man, forces, the forces of nature favor you. We have the hourglass, time is of the essence, there's something very lush. When we have like the green man and it's nature next to the hourglass, which could represent the body, it tells me that the physical body is very lush, it's very sexy, it's curvy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some more energy here. There's the hand. We were talking about the fingers and the hands. There's something very pretty about your hands. And then we have Earth. And there is a lot of different astrological signs, I feel like, that are in here. And if you see this hand, that is a lot. That's like all the signs, right? And so maybe it also feels like you guys are very diverse. We have this locked doors. Can now be open on the bottom, the key. Kind of knock, knock, knock. Let me in. Let me in. People want to come into your vibe. We have... You are being favored, guys. And it feels like there's this earthy, rich energy, you know, of butterflies or of nature. It feels like you guys need to have flowers in your hair. Maybe you guys really like flowers. There's something about your hair and there's something about your physical body and your body language that is so central, okay? And with the hourglass, time is of the essence. It could feel like people want to be around you longer or time goes by quickly or like, come on, you know, I want to be with you type of thing. And it just feels like you have this sexy hourglass figure, okay? Then we have the hand of fate. Forces beyond your control intervene. There's something witchy, okay? There's something mystical. She's very witchy to me. She has her little book. She has this moon on her third eye. And she's giving this grin like, I know things. And so it really feels like what makes you so attractive is that you have this witty, sexy energy of, I know things. And I feel like you have the ability to turn anybody on. This is an 18 plus. Um, I'm waiting for my strike to get off my channel so I can do some 18 plus. I'm trying to be good. And then we have Earth. So utilize logic, reason, and common sense. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So again, very luscious. Taurus energy is very luscious. And so Virgo and Capricorn, there's so much in reality that they have the gift of creating beautiful like things around them. And so it's very, it's like giving me Empress vibes here. So maybe we, some of you guys are mothers as well. So let's bring out some more energy. We have the moon in reverse. And so we did feel, that's so funny, I was literally just talking about mothers. So let's get some more energy here. King of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, lots of earth coming out right now. Oh wow, this is very interesting. And then we have death, which is also transformation. So with the moon reverse, the moon in tarot is when you go out at night and it's late, maybe you just have like your pajamas on and you're ready for bed, but you have to run and grab something in your car and you see some trees and you think that's a person and you, you can't quite make it up. What is it? Okay, it's just a tree, but it could be scary. So it feels like your kind of attraction is something that changes a lot. It goes through a lot of different cycles. It's hard to understand. It's different from other people. And it's also something that is very mysterious and not like other people. And then we have the King of Pentacles. I absolutely love this card so much. So the King of Pentacles, you can count on them, you know? And they're very lush and they have abundance and they have money and they're stable and like life is good. And so it feels like you guys look very rich. There's something about you guys looking rich. Maybe you guys have a nice car or it's just something that's going to happen for you. 
and it really feels like you guys smell really really good there's something about your actual scent that makes you very attractive we have the six of pentacles there's something very like sweet about your energy and very giving i feel like you have an amazing energy where you can reciprocate and you can also give as well it's very balanced and it's very nice to be around you the type of person that you are and then we have death so death is transformation and it has to happen you know it just it had to happen and maybe it feels like you guys had a total glow up and you changed so much about your physical appearance or your vibe or maybe how you even post on instagram or how you are going out into the world you just started to change so much and it just feels like you guys became even more powerful and even more beautiful we have scorpio we could have some scorpios watching this scorpio energy is very sexy it's hypnotic and it brings people in we have nice cheekbones so you have very very nice cheekbones we have interesting look so um a lot of models have interesting looks so you could have a model like face about you and it's just a big energy here of people being very curious about you so let's go ahead and get another one we have very smart so you guys look smart okay maybe some of you guys wear glasses or you like to play around with glasses sometimes or just look very smart sometimes like i don't know for me i like that look like i like when someone it just like looks like they're up to something or it looks like they have something going on or it looks like they have their own world that they're in and they're like an important person and it just feels like you are like an important person and those type of people always bring a lot of curiosity to me i just wonder like what is their life like so it really feels like people really wonder what is your life like can we learn more about you but there is a little bit of mystery here we have fearless person so you are very fearless and there's this energy here i do feel like we're tapping into some people that are a little bit sexual i can't get into that because i have to be good but whoop right there hourglass beauty that's crazy and guys i have a huge stack so you your what makes you so hot what makes you so attractive is you have this super sexy and sensual hourglass figure and then guys someone's trying to come in our reading baby don't lie i know you think of me too okay guys do we not like this person do we need to kick him out okay is he a taurus no i'm just kidding but um we got taurus sometimes my cards do get shuffled together and i do notice i really feel like i need to do a love reading i feel really called um but with taurus Tauruses are sensual, they're sexy, they look good, they taste good, they like nice things, and so it just feels like there's something very sensual about you and your radiance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one more card to wrap it up. There's something about your hair, guys. You have very beautiful hair as well. So group number three, what makes them so attractive? Group number three. Oh, okay. This is interesting. This was in the third crystal reading. So maybe you guys want to watch number three as well. So with this, number 22, letting go. There's those beautiful butterflies. And there is something about nature like favoring you or something very lush. Outside, we have a lot of water. We have dragonflies. We have flowers. It kind of looks like this could almost be somewhere tropical like Hawaii. And it feels like too when I tap in, I start really feeling that energy in my body. It feels very relaxing to be around you. And when you go on vacation, you're like, guys, I don't want to leave. And then your family is like, I don't want to leave either. Do we have to go back to real life? Something that makes you so physically pretty is that it's like a vacation. And we don't, you know... They don't want to leave. There's that big energy of like time is of the essence and like not always having enough time with you, okay? And it's like also this energy of letting go. So 
it also feels like this isn't 18 plus but it feels like people could let go fully in 18 plus ways with you there's something very healing about your touch and your vibe i wish i could read 18 plus for you right now but maybe if you you can join my patreon if you like it's only five bucks and there's a bunch of readings on there reading for you if that's something you're into and yeah guys we'll go ahead and wrap it up i love so much connecting with you and your vibe i will be opening um personal readings here soon if that's something that you would like i would love so much to read for you and i hope to see you very soon bye hello beautifuls welcome to your reading so group number four let's go ahead and take a deep breath in and release Okay, if you want to go ahead and relax your shoulders, relax your arms, relax your neck, unclench your jaw, and just be open for this reading. So group number four, I peeked into your energy and I really felt like you, I saw like stars or you are a star. It felt like you've went through a rough time in the past and it felt like a lot of people are inspired by you and what you have went through and who you are today and it feels like you've changed maybe for some of you guys you've lost weight or became more fit or you're you worked on your skin your hair your nails there's something about you leveling up to another dimension on another level we have the energy of 13 and i always think of like friday the 13th and it's it's something that people can fear but they can't wait till it comes around and it's the talk of the town so it really feels like your attractive nature is something that is really communicated and talked about there's a lot of energy here of purple and purple is royalty it's a very royal color and with leo uh, we can have some leos in here sun moon are rising Venus, 10th house, but let's actually go ahead and to dive into the astrological influence group number four. So we do have Leo. So we have Leo, we have Capricorns, we have the 9th house, and we have the 11th house. And I just want to touch base on her gift. It feels like she's very witchy, she's a manifester, she's spiritual, and she can summon energy. And it feels like she could summon anybody she wants. So it just feels like you have this powerful vibe to create what it is you want in your life. You're gifted. We have, I know we're not seeing Virgo, but I do feel like we could have some Virgos watching this as well. So, um, Virgo energy. So with Leo, Leo is the center of attention, Leo is funny, Leo is bright, Leo is the light of people's lives, and Leo energy is just fun as hell to be around, and you know, sometimes with Leos, you could be like, oh my gosh, like we get it, you're a Leo, but they can't help it, and truly, a life without Leos, what would we do without the sun, you know, and so it feels like, what would we do without you, group number four, what would we do without this type of attractive energy you possess, and it's very fascinating, because we have Capricorn, and in the chart, Capricorn is the 10th house, and it's very, that's our reputation, that's our career, we are shining the brightest, and it just feels like you shine really bright, it feels like you're very popular, it feels like you're very royal, feels like you're well known. Capricorn energy, oh, I gotta touch base on Leo. Leo energy is um, all about that hair. Guys, that hair is sexy, that hair is voluptuous, that hair is so pretty that you guys have, and it's something people really talk about and really like about you. With Capricorn, Capricorn energy, if we want to paint a picture, Megan Fox is a rising Capricorn, and she also has Mars conjunct the ascendant but um she had this bad girl energy this baddie energy she always plays like dark parts right she played jennifer's body and all like a lot of like dark type of vibes or it's just like she's always like the sexy one and it's like the show she's always like the star of the show and everybody's 
wanting to capture her, be with her. And even now, you know, a lot of people are talking about her and there's a lot of attention about her. So it just feels like there's something super sexy and dark, a little bit dark about you. Dark does not equal bad. And so <clears throat> I also think for some of you guys, you could have dark hair. If you don't have dark hair, it's just that you're reading something about you that feels very sexy, naughty, or dangerous-like, and mysterious, too. We have the ninth house. That is, you know, foreign lands. We are traveling. We are learning. That is higher knowledge. The ninth house is a very positive house, and so it feels like you are a very positive person to be around, and it you could also have, like, a different ethnic ethnicity or, like, look different from other people around you. And then we have the 11th house. The 11th house also, it indicates lots, lots of things, but one of the things it indicates is like our dreams, our wishes, our hopes and wishes. And so I feel like um, with relating that back to your physical attraction, what makes you hot is that it could kind of be like wishful to want to be around you, to see you, to want to be in your presence. It's a very lucky house. It's interesting. Both the ninth house and the 11th house are very lucky and positive houses. And so you could just have a very positive energy and like it could feel super good and rejuvenating to be around you and to be in your vibe. So, and I notice a lot of celebrities have um, strong 11th house placements. So there's this energy of you being a celebrity. We have the stars. Oh my gosh. We have, you will receive news from afar. We have the wizard. Use your skills to aid others. And the oracle. Seek wisdom and guidance from elders. So starting with the stars, it really feels like you are a star and you are someone that other people look up to. The stars have a twinkling night uh, nature and we all only really see them at night. So there could be a mysterious sexiness to you that maybe people don't always get to see you when they want to see you. They want to see you more often. They want to see more of you. But it's not something they always do get to see. And when we talk about cele celebrities, we call them the stars, you know? And so there's something very celebrity-like about you. You will receive news from afar. People are talking about you. They're talking about your beauty. I don't think they're talking bad about you. I feel like they're talking really good about you. And... Also, you could be this amazing communicator and the voice, like your voice could sound nice. You could like to sing. You could be a good writer. There's something about your communication skills that is very attractive. We have use your skills to aid others. She's using her skills. We have the oracle. There's something about you that is witchy or hypnotic or wise. And for some of you guys, you could be older. Capricorn is the daddy of the zodiac. And this is like a bearded man. And if that does not connect with you, you could have uh, an old soul type of energy. And with nine, nine is an old soul number, we have seek wisdom and guidance from elders. So definitely there's something about you holding a lot of wisdom, older wisdom that people come to and want to be around. So let's go ahead and get more energy here. We have strength. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Three of Wands. And we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, so with strength, I'm getting that your physical appearance and what makes you so hot is that your physical features are very strong. And it feels like you could find the man within the beast. It feels like there's something so pure about you and it feels like the strongest man or the strongest energy of force of like a force you have this healing beautiful touch where you could make people melt with your touch 
and it feels like you've went through a lot but you know what you're still here you're still standing and the strength you have within yourself is something that makes you so attractive because it's made you more wise so all the pain and the hurt and the struggles that have happened have made you better and I'm sorry for the things that you've went through in your life um I'm wanting to grab my stomach maybe it feels like your wounds are connected to lower level chakras like feeling good enough not feeling good enough guys you are good enough okay you are powerful I love tapping into your vibe we have the nine of wands feels like kind of hidden or not allowing anybody in or hard to get so it kind of feels like you guys are a little bit hard to get and a lot of other people are wanting to get you and wanting to be around you and then we have the three of wands so there's this creative energy of you being a leader and to really like making things happen in your life and number three is creative number three is a communicator number three is ruled by the empress so you can have very empress like qualities and it feels like with all this fire energy that it could be very motivating to be around you fire also indicates like passion sexual passion and so i feel like you have a lot of sex appeal that is oozing from you we have the ace of swords i love that card so much so it's clear communication cutting through the bullshit your intuition is on the money so something that makes you so attractive is that you are able to use your wisdom and you're able to tap in so deeply and you are this oracle this witch or this wizard that holds so much and it's also very intimidating this person could be intimidating other <clears throat> excuse me others can be intimidated by you let's go ahead and get some more so we have dark features okay some of you guys could have dark hair or dark eyes if you don't have that there could just be like you know that sexy darkness that we connected to earlier with megan fox okay let's get some more we have i won't i love your scent guys so this doesn't ever really happen but my ear is like ringing and it it feels like people are really talking about you right now so i'm not exactly sure what you're up to i know it's something that you leveled up but i know it's something that you're glowing more it's almost like do you have like a new business or do you have a new job or are you going to you want to there's something about you being the star of it we have nice jawline okay and this is interesting we have light eyes so we have dark features and light eyes so there's both energy that want to come out we have funny so you're very funny it's very nice oh i love funny people i want to be your friend okay and so let's go ahead oops and get some more energy we have i want to control you there's some people that want to control you because they love this attractive energy that you have we have pisces i feel like pisces are almost like a disney princess and they could be stuck at the top of the tower and everybody wants to save them okay <clears throat> there's something so strong about stars okay there's something really strong about you being a star okay and then, yeah and then we have you still the show so you do still the show okay we have leo coming out we have that strong capricorn energy of being a boss being the best i'm going to work however long it takes it doesn't matter i will not give up so it's very powerful the type of vibe you have let's go ahead and get one more card on what makes you so attractive i might actually get two high priestess of air so there is something about you being a high priestess there is something about you having wisdom that nobody else knows the high priestess is intuitive she's spiritual and she holds deep mysteries within herself that she won't always share with everybody else so there's also a mysterious type of whoa nature that is coming off of you a lot of cards want to come out for you we have complicated and we have success So maybe it feels like life was complicated, but you know you're destined to succeed and you know you are destined for success and maybe life is starting to turn around a little bit more and you're finally getting that success. Complicated. I feel like what makes you so attractive is sometimes 
complicated people could actually be very attractive because they're not just, hey, this is me, I'm very easy, you know, I don't have a lot of dimensions to me or my personality. What's so attractive about you is you have all different types of things about you. You have hidden mysteries about you. You have an interesting childhood about you. You have some darkness in you. Not saying that's bad, but it's something that people will want to figure out. You are a, a being of someone that has many different layers to themselves. So it's there's this thirst and there's this desire to find out more about you. And number 11 is a master number. And you have 11 here and 11 here. It's 1111. 11. So, and you, you know, if you see 1111, 11, it feels lucky kind of. You're like, oh, I saw 1111. Like, I am on point. I'm in sync with myself and the universe, with my angels. And so it just feels like there's something angelic and very in sync with you and your attractiveness. And then we have 39. So congratulations, success, maybe for some of you guys, you graduated or you're going to graduate or you're getting a new job. There's this, for some reason, there's this level of success that is coming for you in your life. And it also could be like, congratulations, like you're that attractive, right? It feels like you guys hit the genetic lottery and maybe you guys should play the lottery. You know, I feel like a lot of a lot of lucky energy here, especially with that 1111 energy. But guys, you are very blessed. You are so attractive. You have the world in your hands. And I hope you come back to me and I'll read more cards for you. And if you did like this reading, I hope you liked the video and leave a comment if you'd like. And I have 18 plus Patreon down below if that's something you're into. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye!